Hi all folks, this is Max from HCCEvoHacks.com So we're going to go, um, finally got my hands on a GSM um, Evo 3 So let's go root it, uh, very easy to do um, So first what you want to do is um, basically take the battery out uh, We're going to go unlock the bootloader um, There we go Pull the battery out, in, and then hold down the volume down and the power button and then uh, until you see um, this thing here and it should say locked as you can see there and we're going to go unlock it um, using HTC um, that unlock method very easy um, same thing as we did many times before go to a uh, fast boot and hit the power button it'll say fast boot uh, simply connect a micro USB cable and it'll say fast boot USB um, I should say fast boot USB. If, if not, you will have to uh, manually update the drivers. Uh, let me show you that real quick. Go ahead and download um, either 64 bit or 32 bit um, ACC driver. I'll have the links. And if you unzip, uh, I have 64 bit Windows 7, so I download the 64 bit. Uh, if you download that, um, go into it, you'll see all these files here. Um, Oops, there we go. There's all the files. Uh, you just have to go back to, um, go to, uh, what is it? Go to control panel and then go to uh, hardware and sound and device manager. If you don't know how to get into device manager for your Windows, uh, simply Google it. And if you don't have the correct drivers installed, you'll get this Android uh, 1.0. Double click on it, update driver, browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Um, you can choose show all devices, hit next. Use half disk and then browse to that directory uh, where you just unzip the driver files to. Which for me is actually yeah, ACC driver and ACC driver driver files um, and Android USB.inf. Hit open, OK, and you'll see a bunch of things you can do here. Um, Try to find my ACC, my ACC there. Click next, I'll say yes, mm -hmm. and boom, and it's working. And if you have my HCC up here, you're all ready to go. And uh, now, by now, your phone should have say uh, micro, a uh, fast food USB. If you see that, you're all ready to go. All right. So let's go to the next step. Next, what you want to do is download this file called GSM Evo 3D root dot zip and unzip it. You should get a folder called GSM Evo 3D root, okay? Um, if you don't, um, then it's okay to um, just put all those files in that directory. And then what you'll want to do, this also works on um, Windows, Mac, or Linux. For Windows, go open up a terminal, start search, and type CMD like that. And you get a like little window there. Uh, let me zoom in there. And uh, basically, for Mac or Linux, open up a terminal. If you don't know how, please Google it. Um, next where you're going to type is, uh, since I've unzipped those files into my download directory, download directory, um, it, most computers will do that. Um, so next type cd space downloads, like that, and cd space gsm evo 3d root, like that. All right. Next what you want to do is uh, type fastboot space oem space get identifier underscore token. Um, I will zoom in for you here, just like that, all right? And this will give you um, a bunch of stuff. Uh, copy from where the arrows start to where the arrows end. So do it right at where the arrows start, like this, mark, and start right there. And choose exactly like that. Don't include the white spaces in front. Do it exactly like that, copy that part, okay? And uh, for Windows, if you just do right-click, it will copy. Let me do it again for you for Windows. Right-click, mark. Oops, see I messed up. Right-click, mark, and start at the, there you go, like that. And right-click. And that will copy it into your clipboard. For Linux or Mac, you, you can probably simply just um, do a, a select select with your mouse with your left hand, left-click, and just do right-click, copy. All right. And next, we'll go to... Um, Let's Google to hccdev.com. 
Next, go to htcdev.com. Uh, if you come here, you can register. Um, go ahead and register and uh, sign in, okay? Go ahead and sign in, um, and you'll be redirected back to the main page. Choose Unlock Bootloader. All right, and hit Get Start. And uh, here, under Select Devices, um, choose your Evo 3D, I think. There we go. Where is it? Evo 3D Rogers Sprint um, EMEA. If it doesn't give you your choice, it's fine. Just choose uh, all other supported models at the end. Um, hit Begin Unlock Bootloader. Say yes. If you get any um, errors here, try try again. Sometimes uh, some browser have trouble. Um, acknowledge the legal terms. Proceed to Unlock Instructions. Click there. And then... Um, Go all the way down to proceed to step five. Click um, because we already did this, and uh, so go back, go down all the way to proceed step eight. Click, um, and we already did all of this. Um, and go here and do a right click and paste that code that you found, and hit submit. And you should get uh, some kind of uh, token submitted successfully. Yippee! Um, now go check your email. Alright. And then uh, you should get an a email from ACC Unlock Bootloader. You can see the key to unlocking your ACC device um, with the file included. So download that. Alright. And you want to move this file to um, the same folder uh, as the GSM 3D Evo root. So do show in folder. Um, do a right click copy and I'm going to go to my downloads folder and go to um, GSM Evo 3D root. I'm going to paste it here. All right, so that's what it looks like. Next, go back to the command prompt and uh, type uh, fastboot flash, uh, fastboot underscore. I'm oh, sorry. Fastboot space flash space unlock token space. Uh, capital U N L O C K underscore C O D E dot bin. Uh, and I forgot to mention for Mac and Linux, um, you'll have to do dot slash fastboot dash Mac for Mac and replace fastboot with dot slash fastboot dash Linux and then the, everything else is the same. Same thing here, you just have to um, re replace that. And hit enter. Alright, and this should unlock our phone. Right, and then it'll ask you to unlock bootloader. Select yes and hit the power button. And you've got a uh, unlocked bootloader. And uh, we're almost done. It'll, it'll reboot, right? Um, once your phone's rebooted, uh, simply connect it um, as a uh, as disk drive. And we're going to copy over this file right here. CWM SU um, blah blah dot zip. That is actually rooting uh, super user files, and uh, we should be almost done here. But it's uh, there you go. And also, um, it does erase all your apps and settings. It doesn't erase your. Um, I just found out, so don't blame me. If this happens. Um, It'll erase your apps and settings, um, but your personal media files, I don't think they get erased. I'm not sure, but just make sure you back up everything before you start this, and hopefully you watch this video at least once before you do it. Um, yeah. So that's done. Still loading. There you go. Change it to uh, disk drive only. <laughs> I hit done. It'll show up as a disk drive in your computer. Do a right click on this. Eh, there we go. It just popped up. Do a right click on the CWMSU uh, thing and copy. And go ahead and paste it um, anywhere, anywhere in your uh, SD card of your Evo 3D GSM. Um, paste. So I'm just going to put it in the root directory. So that's copied over. Let's go back to our phone. 
Next, what you want to do is put it into that fast boot mode again. Uh, so the fastest way, or the simplest, I can tell you how to do it, fail-proof way, is take the battery out, put it back in, put the cover back in, hold down the power button, or sorry, hold down the volume down button and the power button. And it's the same thing we did at the beginning of this video. All right. And then now it's going to go through and choose fast boot. It'll say fast boot in red and connect it to your computer again. And it should say fast boot um, USB. There you go. All right, let's go back to our computer. And notice that it says unlock now. So you have an unlock bootloader, uh, which means you can pretty much um, install custom recovery and then install the super user. So let's go back to our computer. So we're almost done here. Um, go back to uh, go back to the command prompt. All right, and we're gonna type uh, we're gonna type fast boot uh, flash space recovery space um, CWM uh, four dot zero dot. Just type CWM and then hit tab and it'll fill it in for you. And also for Mac, um, don't forget everything you do with Fastboot. You have to do that. All right, and Linux like that. Oops, dash Linux. And that's pretty much it. Um, um, hit that, and this will flash the uh, recovery for your GSM Evo 3D. And then let's go back to our phone. Um, here we're gonna use the volume keys to hit uh, choose bootloader. You don't need the micro SD cable out anymore, so take it out. Um, hit the power button. You get into this menu here, and it should go through this PC 86 IMG thingy here. Choose recovery. Hit the power button, and uh, you should get the new. Um, recovery revolutionary recovery and here go down to uh, install zip from SD card hit the power button choose it from SD card hit the power button and uh, go find that file you copied over earlier CWM dash super su blah blah dot zip hit the power button say yes hit the power button and uh, I will say all that that means it's done you have root now super user go back Reboot system now. Um, now you should have a fully rooted GSM Evo 3D uh, with S on. Now for the Evo Evo 3D GSM, you don't need um, S off to flash ROMs um, or the regular Evo 3D. You don't need uh, S on to flash ROMs. Um, you can use there's an extension for recovery um, that will allow you to uh, flash ROMs fully. And uh, I'll show you how to do that um, in my next video. And we'll go flash a ROM together. But this basically gives you root um, and an unlock bootloader, which means you can run rooted apps, uh, install custom ROMs, and stuff like that. Um, so, pretty much done here. And uh, now you have a rooted Evo 3D GSM. Should work. It will work on any Evo 3D. Um, actually on any Evo 3D. There we go. Super SU. If you have Super SU, that means you're rooted. Run it once, right after you root, um, and say uh, continue. This will kind of uh, fix everything so it's working right. And uh, that's pretty much it. And you have root. Um, pat yourself on the back. Now you can go install rooted apps. Um, go install and root Wi-Fi tether or whatever you want to do. Uh, but that's how you root your GSM Evo 3D using ACC Dev. Um, gives you full root. And also you can install custom ROMs. I suggest using for extension recovery. Um, don't use the recovery you just installed. This is just for installing, you know, super. Well, you can do that, but you have to boot um, from Fastboot to do that. Um, but um, I'll have another video for ex for extension recovery. Um, anyway, if you have an Evo 3D GSM or Sprint Evo 3D, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, hccevohacks.com. We update you once or twice a week with ROM reviews, tips, hacks, and more. And that's a great way for you to get in contact me with me via email. And I don't share with your email with anyone else but my dog. 
and uh, if you're new to please hit that like button it helps me greatly subscribe button up here if you have thanks a bunch and uh, share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus with that button right there and uh, stay high on Android folks and uh, thanks you guys for supporting my channel and see y'all later